Marines here know that attention to every detail is a must during a long day of constant drilling. They must commit to memory 63 movements that shape the silent drill platoon. They're using the M1 rifle with fixed bayonet instead of the M16 they trained with in infantry school. You're constantly moving the rifle and manipulating it to do certain things and certain manuals. A lot of it's mental because some, there's some days where you're just, you know, you're tired and, you know, you can get three hours of sleep, but hey, you gotta get up and drill and be perfect. It began with more than 90 Marines last fall. By early January, they were down to 40, still trying to make the cut. The Marines need to learn fast as well. So if they don't pick up the drill, then we gotta move on. Each Marine knows that only about 15 will go on to finish when the platoon wraps up its final days of training at Marine Corps Air Station, Yuma, Arizona, after four months and 700 hours of effort. Only the best of the best will make it, and only five of the new members will actually perform this year with the final 24 and their mission of precision drill. So the Spartans may have had their 300, but the Marines have their 24. All of the training, all of the effort to make the grade is a must in order to meet the demands of a challenging schedule. Throughout the year, they'll perform in some 100 shows. They'll travel 50 to 60,000 miles across America and around the world and display their brand of drill to more than a million spectators. Since 1948, Marines have performed the silent drill and their mission always sharing the Marine Corps message through precision drill. It's just, a, it's adrenaline rush. I mean, when you step on any, any field or a, anywhere you do that show for, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing. It shows the, the discipline of basic rifle movements uh, with some, some throws and some other things in there, but it just shows all those in unison and, and to the utmost perfection that the Marines can attain. They also come here knowing that when their duty with the silent drill platoon is over, another duty is waiting. All their buddies they went to boot camp with the School of Infantry are out there in Iraq and Afghanistan in harm's way and they're, they're doing their job. These Marines love what they do. Uh, they take a lot of pride in it. It's very selective to get here, but at the same time, they're, they're ready to get out there and join their brothers. There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor. The platoon also took the Marine Corps message to new heights for real when they took center stage in a TV commercial called America's Marines. And that stage just happened to be the United States. Cameras captured the platoon lining up in the places that say America during a multi-state tour across the country. As always, wherever the mission takes them, the silent drill platoon will line up, take arms, and do what they always do drill. The few, the proud, the Marines. Like the other services, the Navy has its traditions too marching bands and all. So too the Navy's own ceremonial guard drill team, which has performed at all manner of venues since 1955. But this is a day of firsts for Washington, D.C. and for the Navy drill team. December 20th, 2008, the Eagle Bank Bowl, billed as the first ever college bowl game in the nation's capital and it's Wake Forest versus the Naval Academy. It's also a big day for the Navy drill team, on hand with some firsts of their own. The drill team has never been able to perform in a football game, and uh, they're, they're very ecstatic. 
and a lot of them call their moms and dads and tell them to look for us on TV. The gravity of the moment is taking hold outside the stadium as Navy drill members try to warm up on a frigid day. Pretty excited, you know. It's an honor that we get to come here and represent Navy. That's definitely an extra edge, you know. We got to get out here, we got to do our thing. You know, Navy's going to do it on the field with the football. We're going to do it on the field just for Navy all over the world. And by frigid, we mean 38 degrees. Not exactly ideal for tossing a bayonet tip rifle at a fellow shipmate. Take it back. You know, it's really cold. Our fingertips are numb. But, you know, if it's numb, you can't feel the pain. So we'll make it through. You know, if you've been here as long as I have, this is just, you know, just another day. But new guys we got here, you know, it's going to be a little shaky for them. But it should be all right. It's a fun experience. A fun experience, hopefully, and certainly new for Gunner's mate Alicia Hawkins. She's the first African-American female member of Navy's drill team, having already risen through the ranks after just more than a year on the team to standard honors position. I think it's like my fifth or sixth performance, so still pretty fresh. I'm just trying to keep my hands warm pretty much. That's the main, my main concern. And uh, if I can keep my hands warm, it'll go pretty smooth. Hope we make them proud. That's, that's my main concern. As halftime and performance time approach, it's not getting any warmer, but the show will go on. Feel the drill. Who sure. y'all drill team? Who y'all team? It drops below uh, 35 degrees. Uh, something like that, then uh, their hands start to get real cold. And of course, the more they, their hands hit the rifles, the painful it gets afterwards. They can't wear gloves because they have to have the, the, the amount of friction, as much friction as possible to catch the rifles. And right on cue, at halftime, it's Navy front and center. These drillers come from the ranks of Navy's ceremonial guard of more than 200 members having endured eight weeks of initial training to make the team. They've drilled hours and hours to prepare for moments like these. Actually, it's an abbreviated five-minute performance based on their standard 12-minute routine. But whatever the time, it's a performance none of them will soon forget. <laughs> Back in the locker room, the team debrief is pretty upbeat and to the point. Good job, guys. You about 12, maybe higher. It was pretty good, sitting in the weather. Everybody's hands are all cold and everything, but they did it. So no drops, uh, I think it's pretty good. And considering the cold weather, too. So. It's a view shared by their commander, who's thinking this drill team is ready for more. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, that'd be great. I mean, it was a short time, so it was a modification to our performance, and they did great. The Air Force always beats us out of it, you know, the Marines, Army. No one really hears about the Navy drill team. So that's what we're here to do. We're here to spread that word. Hold it down. That's it. We're ready. <laughs> Super Bowl, where you at? <laughs> Super Bowl. We need a Super Bowl. Taking it to the next level, making it even better the next time out. That's the goal of Navy's drill team, as it is for all U.S. military drill units. They carry on a tradition of discipline and duty that has its origins in ancient armies. Their mission, as always, to represent the best qualities of our nation's armed forces. I'm Tech Sergeant Ryan Hoke, and this has been Recon.